Hi guys, Ian Whitaker here. If like me, you've become trapped in the wrong country's iTunes store, Apple Music store, Apple TV and Apple Music, and this applies to iPad, iPhone and your Mac, and you can be from any country in the world, trapped in any store in any country of the world, if you're from the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, and if you're in Britain, this applies to you too. So no matter where you're from, stay with me and we'll get this sorted quickly. There's going to be four short and sweet parts to this video. The first, I'll show you the problem that I'm locked into a store of a different nation than the one I want to be in. Secondly, I'll show the Apple solution, the official solution to get you back to your country of preference. Third, that won't work for everybody because if you've got credit in your account, it won't allow you to change. For those people who can't change because of credit in their account, I'm going to show way around a hack, if you will, that will get you back to the country you want to be in in iTunes. Fourth, I will show you how you can download any songs or media, any TV shows, movies, that you purchased in the meantime, which you weren't able to download on the device that had changed into the unwanted country. So let's say you've got an iPad and an iPhone. Your iPhone has always been in your home country, but somehow your iPad has gone astray and it's in iTunes Mexico. In the meantime, you may have bought some songs or movies on your iPhone in your original home country, but they won't be able to be downloaded on your iPad, which is registered at the moment in iTunes Mexico. So what I'll do is show you once you've put the country correct is how you can find those purchases and download them because they won't appear straight away. It'll look as if they don't exist. Those are the four sections. Bear with me, I'll get through them as fast as I can. First, let's run through the official Apple solution on how to change country or region. Here's the instructions, pause them if you like, but I'm going to show you exactly what to do. You go into settings, and then at the top, you'll see your username. My name's Ian Whitaker there. So tap that. That brings up your Apple ID screen. And then on this screen, about halfway down in blue, you see the A icon for media and purchases. Tap that. And then you'll see your account and you'll see the third option down is country slash region. Touch that and it will give you either the option to change country and region, in which case I've resolved your problem, so no need to watch the rest of the video, or this message which will tell you you have a credit balance so you cannot change region or country at the moment. If that's the case, then you can use this cunning hack of mine to get around it. Here we go. Step one is go into a search engine, for example, Google. Step two will depend on the country which you want to return your iTunes, your Apple Music, your TV too. I'm going to use the UK as an example. In a moment, I'll use the USA as an example. For the UK, type in UK, iTunes, now that's music. Then enter the present year. So right now it's 2020. Execute the search and in the results, what you're looking for is an internet address which starts with music.apple or iTunes.apple. Select one of those and it should actually open the Apple Music, the iTunes application, and it will say item not available, and the option there is to change store. It is very important to review this text before you select change store. Check that it says, but it's available in the UK. That's what informs us that we're definitely going to be taken into the UK store by clicking. Press change store, and there you go. Welcome back to the UK iTunes store. Of course here it's first taken you to Apple Music but if you go to the store now iTunes you'll see that it's all correct it's all UK. You're now back where you wanted to be congratulations the situation's resolved. You can double check just look at all the prices they're now in British pounds. If you get an error comes up when you select change store this kind of screen it simply means that you've selected a link to some music or an item that's too old, it's not the latest and it's not connecting correctly to the current version of iTunes. So just go back to search and search for something that is much more recent. Those of you trying to get back to the USA iTunes, Apple Music, Apple TV store and application, go in a search engine and find something that's exclusive to the USA. So search something like Billboard Music Compilation 
and here we have now that's what I call music 73. So I'll input that in the search. Here I'm using the top bar of my browser as the search. And on the search results screen, I'm just going to check that the result says music.apple, itunes.apple, slash US. And it's really important that it says slash US. I will select that. And when I get into the music application, I carefully review the text. It says it is available in the US store. That's very important. So I know it's going to take me to the US store. So I select change store based on that. And there I go into the USA store. Now that you're back in the country you want to be in, one more thing. If there's any media that you've purchased that's not appearing in your library, here's how to find it and download it. Here in my film library, I can see there's something missing which I purchased before, and it's the Jason Bourne film. So I'm going to go into iTunes store, tap purchased in the bottom right hand corner. You can see that arrow pointing down there. And now at the top of the screen, you'll be able to hunt for any music, movies or TV shows which you have purchased, which aren't appearing in your library. In this case, I'm going to select movies. And here you can see Jason Bourne movies pop up then just tap on the title you require and it will open this screen and you can download it from there now it's going to be appearing let's just see in the downloaded section jason bourne top right corner you can see that's happening now and it's the exact same process for any movie series or audios that you've got thanks for watching Please give me a like as it does help me devote more time to helpful videos and I really appreciate you taking the time to do that. Thanks.